नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एज आई वॉज स्पीकिंग अबाउट माई इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज अबाउट द वेरी पॉइंट ऑफ नाद बिंदु काला इन क्रॉस रेफरेंस टू द वेरी इवोल्यूशन ऑफ संस्कृत लैंग्वेज अगेन दैट क्रॉस रेफरेंस टू नाट्य शास्त्र और द शास्त्र एज अ होल I was speaking about uh, various concepts starting from para pashyanti madhyama vaikari rupa icha shakti gyan shakti kriya shakti shabda brahman universal cosmic sound cosmic creative vibrations i me and myself and saguna shiva nirguna shiva covering various aspects let's let's try getting much further by getting into the individual or taking one thing at a time how do you understand this very concept of shabda brahman and the universal cosmic sound as i was speaking about shiva and its and various different forms of shiva as i was telling as i all always say prakriti and purusha have always been one of the significant reference for these points to understand the very existence of shastras or further more evolving into natya shastra wherein it is more or less like interpreting that very existence of both form and formless god which is more or less in the feeble which one can only understand with the the very sound of akara akara ukara ukara and makara bijam which is nothing but again the consist uh, the constituents of omkara pranav bija mantra as i say again it takes me to a question of very uh, Uh, intriguing question of kasmai deva ya havisha vidhema who is that god the point over here is how do you realize this point to understand these shastras and these shastras cross reference from the research point of view if i really look at it is more or less relating to advaita dvaita vishishta advaita which came very later not uh, before understanding all of this if i really look at some of the uh, movies based on the classical uh, uh, classical art form or art and culture form there was one very big spark that was uh, created by rishabh shetty sir in kantara that was the 15 or 20 minutes climax scene of that uh, kantara movie where it it is more or less talking about uh, guliga or you know uh, guliga or any other character if i really look at all of these aspects it is more or less talking about saguna shiva and nirguna shiva 
who is already existing in this universe who has come now the real point over here is what is the root for that root when i say root that aparsha aspect i am not talking about the parsha aspect when i say parsha it is more or less talking about people interpreting that aparsha is something wherein it comes very in it for one who has understood that with that intuition or what with that intuitive mindset in the very concept of shastra or the natya the natya shastra or the shastra which was initially as shastra and then uh, 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 then uh, it trans uh, the, it then translated to natya shastra to show the general society that this is how it is showing that brahmadaranyaka or aranyaka upanishads or uh, upanishads uh, stories in the story form now the point is one needs to understand that this shaguna shiva saguna shiva or nirguna shiva or that shiva which is both form and formless and it is existing in the most feeble light form which only one can understand it does not have even that linga swarupa though we show it for the purpose of we have those sculptures we have those uh, linga or whatever it is for the purpose of getting that focal point or that focus this is one of the very primary thing which an individual needs to understand from the spirituality aspect when i say uh, from the spirituality aspect how do you get that the root point is shabda brahman again that omkara pranava bija mantra and that is again directly related to nada bindu again and this is what is the practical importance of nada bindu kala it's not about the kala again understand this there is lot of difference between kala and kala kala refers to the time of course one may talk about kala from the view point of manu manusmriti that's fine because manu existed only after this this shabda brahman existed and the very core concept of the dance form or whatever that uh, he or she is performing classical art form is based on the the shabda prakarana that happens where it is happening and this is the practical importance of shabda as a whole the point is when we talk more or less about this shabda or shabda bheda that's when you get that nodal point that node to touch with to to imbibe that point of voice that vibes that exist in whole of the universe here is where researchers really need to understand what really shabda a shabda's effect sir be it that voice being coming from that uh, you know um, damaruka those 14 words or the 14 shabdas whatever it is 
I wouldn't say that's a different aspect, but that is one aspect of it wherein our uh, philosophers co- could find that relevancy. And secondly, Shabda and Shabda and Brahman are two different concepts over here. Shabda again refers to that inner voice deep within your body as a whole, as a single entity. Most of us think that voice, if we really meditate, deeply meditate on that, you will come to understand that Shabda coming into your mind. It is only one who experiences that Shabda would be able to understand. In Brahman, Brahman again, Brahman is again understanding of the Brahma Tattva. Brahma Tattva in the sense that multiverse which was created by Brahma, they say, as per myth plus theology, mythology. To understand that and to relish that. And this directly leads to the that cosmic sound in a unison way. When I say unison or universal way, it is one word that's it. There is only one word, there is only one sound that exists across cosmic sound at macro level and micro level. Be it hundreds and crores and billions and trillions of universe that exist or galaxies that exist plus small small stars existing sun being one jata veda who is which is again 12 in numbers that is the reason why they say dvadasha aditya which one needs to understand why that concept needs to be understood even to understand this Nada Bindu Kala concept. See the point over here is the Shabda, Shabda Bheda or this voice that comes to your mind, that comes to your ears, creates those vibrations by which this 72,000 nadi starts vibrating in your body. And thus, those cosmic vibrations which happen deep within your body give that creative vibration. Now the point is in the 21st century, in the current day century wherein th- there is lot of scientific advancement, we need to have equipments to prove that point. And this is what is there in the Samaveda aspect wherein it would create that awareness. As a psychologist, as a neuroscientist or a neuro doctors who are into that neuro field, we don't really have those equipments that are present as of now, unfortunately. The point is, the Shabda Brahman and Universal Cosmic Sound or the cosmic creative vibration which is more or less directly related to that Bindu Kala Nada aspect makes it more unique. 
from the viewpoint of uh, this universe existence which one needs to understand it is not that you know this uh, uh, all of these uh, lasya tandava or whatever it is they existed only after this primitive stage but primary point or the most important point if you are able to understand this concept of shabda brahman and universal cosmic sound and the cosmic creator vibration that's when you would be able to get to that nada bindu kala aspect kala again never existed it was the same it is only after this that you know after uh, uh, after the definition of shabda brahman or the cosmic creative vibrations that you know after understanding all of this uh, for the very purpose of the human human existence in layman terms to uh to explain or to give that detailed version they did that and that's where again it is directly leading us to i me and myself concept the point is the shabda brahman again is more or less talking about that gigantic akhila anda koti brahma anda nahika aspect who is taking care of that that form and that formless god or goddess god and goddess who have been existing and who are existing who sees to exist also and they will exist they will exist it is not that they will not exist in any time though this galaxy cessation happens when i say cessation see everything has its own expiry date they live for certain time unlike human existence they will also need to planets also need to go to that black hole wherein it would like cease to exist then to this prakriti and purusha shiva and shakti whether it is represented by brahma or vishnu or Mah- brahma and vishnu whatever god you say they will be existing in the form of anu and paramanu and this shabda again remains there constant understand this this will always exist the sound will be there the sound of omkara pranav bija mantra will always be there that is the reason why shankaracharya says brahma satyam jagat mithya brahmaiva जीवो ना पर दिस इज इन क्रॉस रेफरेंस टू दट शब्द भ्रमण दट शंकराचार्य इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट्स द ब्रिलियंस ऑफ शंकराचार्य ही हैड गिवेन दैट प्योर डेफिनेशन ऑफ शब्द भ्रमण इन दैट भ्रम जीवो ना पर Brahma Satyam, that is the Satya, 
again this is more or less it leads to sat and anasat aspect that thing which is true which always ever exists it will not cease or there will not be any cessation of this truth this jagat which is created again this human consciousness or the human individual that exists will again cease to exist but this so called shabda brahman the shabda aparsha aspect of that shabda will always be there ladies and gentlemen and this is the primary concept of shastra and natya shastra and this is where that core concept of core strength that happens think about it ladies and gentlemen it is at a higher level it has to be understood and it has to be experienced by that experience sir ladies and gentlemen it is more or less talking about i me and myself again thus i stop this video to this point just think about it on whatever pointers that i talked about maybe it could give more light to the people stay blessed have blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead as a part of request if you like this video if you understood if you have understood or if you have you know if you are having that impression that it is making some sense please do like share it with one and all let them also have this supreme bliss knowledge and if possible please subscribe my channel and i do works on various concepts i do videos i do editing works i do write articles i do write on the subjective and objective part of uh, way on various domains please help me out in getting those projects in case if you have it's a humble request and please if possible for the universities or colleges or the professors or the you know assistant professors please please give that bit of encouragement or give that bit of attention for the non performers as well they do have that mental ability to explain these concepts if one opportunity is given to them they may prove and they will prove that point hoping that viewers across the globe will understand this thanks again stay blessed have blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead